400k squad builder? What? 400,000 coins? First of all, in goals, we have Ob White. Beast of a keeper. Don't have to tell you why. He's 91 rated. He's 6 foot 967. And yeah, he's just a beast. Just get him in your squad. First center back, Kunde, the beast of a man. He's just good. I'll get the other center back up as well before I talk about them. Eder Militao, both with anchor cards on them. These two, as your center backs, will save you games. They will win you games. You know, they will they will clutch up at that at that moment. They will make so many tackles every single game. They're just beastly. These are the best center backs you can get for a 400k squad. And for the right back, we have Navas, the beast at right back. 87 pace, technically 90 pace because you give them in that anchor card. And yeah, he's just a beast. It says he has 58 physical, but trust me, in game, he does not feel like he has 58 physical. As you can see, he's got 82 stam, 75 aggression, 39 strength. No, 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 guys. He does not have 39 strength in this game. He's really strong. Like... He doesn't let anyone bully him. 39 strength. I mean, that looks awful, but like, he's a really good right back. Anyway, next. Left back. What? We're going into Prem? Yes. Prem on the left-hand side. Luke Shorey Shaw. The beast of a man. Okay, he's not amazing. He's actually been playing pretty shocking recently in real life. But in this game, Luke the Shaw is just really good. Why does he have minus five? Because he's off chem. Right. Anyway, he's a beast at left back. Get him in left back for this team if you want to make this team. Um, He's pretty much the same as Navas, really. His stats aren't insane, but he's really just strong and good. Good at stopping, you know, right and left wings coming down and flanking you. So that's the defense. So that's the defense. And now into the midfield, we have Frankie de Jong. This guy is a beast of a man. Frankie de Jong will, will defend well, get you the ball, and then get it up the pitch, and then he will score. Like, he can do all those things. Defend, pass, and score. That, that's all you want in a center mid, and that's exactly what he is. That's exactly what he has. It says he has 69 shot, but guys, you just do a finesse shot from outside the box. It doesn't matter who's taking it. Eddie Militao could take it. It'll probably go in top bins. So, Frankie de Jong, the beast, get him in your squad. He's about 100k alone, so he's probably one of the heftiest slash most expensive players on the team, but he's a beast. It doesn't really matter what chemistry style you put on him, just get him in your team. He's a beast. Other center mid, we have Valverde. Let's go. Really, really good all-round stats he's literally almost 80 rated in every stat just like Goretzka in Hullet Gang but he's obviously a little bit below that doesn't have 80 in everything but um yeah like just a beast he's just a cheap worse uh Goretzka who is a cheap worse Hullet so technically you could say that Valverde is a cheap worse cheap worse Hullet but then again you could say that for almost anyone okay other center mid we have Philip Foden, or as I like to call him, Filthy Foden. I've scored so many goals with this Donny. How many goals? Six goals in 17 games. Okay, so maybe not that many goals, but the goals that I do score with him, he just gets it outside the box. You finesse shot. It will always go in with this guy. Finesse top right. He gets it on the left. He cuts in right. Finesse top right. In this FIFA, they always go in, and this guy has scored six finesse top right goals for me in 17 games, which isn't a lot, I know. But, like, that's because most of my goals are scored by my strikers and center attacking mids. Guys, he's really good, and he will score you goals. I swear I've scored more than that, but anyway, he's good. And his defense is awful, but in game, you don't really realize it because, I mean, you could have 20 defense in this game and you could win a tackle as long as you just use your fingers correctly, honestly. But, I mean, don't listen to me. I'm not I'm not good at this game. <laughs> no, please listen to me. Anyway, full Foden, get him in your team if you're going to make a hybrid 400k squad. Now, before we go on to the attack, which is the best part about this team, let's get in onto the bench. Milinkovic Savage, this guy is the GOAT. I packed this Donny. He's a beast. He's really, really good. Almost, again, he's literally Hullet Gang, except for his pace, which is annoying. But um, but yeah, that's he's who I bring on to replace Valverde sometimes if I'm really feeling it, if they're out of stamina at the end of the game. I put Milinkovic Savage on, and he's about 40k, I think. Oh, he's he's only 20k actually. Yeah, he's only 20k. But yeah, beast. And then the 
other substitute that you would need is Rafinha. Look at this, Donny. He is so good. So good. He is so good. 92 pace, 79 shooting. He is who I bring on to win games. And by win games, I mean win titles, bro. He's so good. You guys, honestly, for, I think he's only 70k, right? Oh my God, he's, he's down to 50k. He's down to 50k. Oh my God. You guys need to get him. He is so good. He is who I bring on to replace my left wing because my left wing, it was probably the weakest part about the whole team. St. Maximin. He's in this team because he gets links to the striker who is obviously in the La Liga, which isn't the Prem, but uh, which means you can probably guess who the striker is. Ben Zema, the beast. This guy is filthy. 86 shooting, which is actually a lot more with the Hunter and 87 dribbling. Again, 76 pace, which is actually a lot more with the Hunter. Just a beast. 13 goals and 6 a kiss, uh, a kiss in 17 games, which is really good. 4 star, 4 star. He's really good. He goes into the center attacking mid role of my custom tactic, which is 4 1 2 1 2 second variation. And yeah, he goes into the center attacking mid. St. Maximin goes striker. And my right wing goes striker as well, who is Usman Dembele. Filthy. Filthy team. Like, look at this team. In total, if you get the subs as well, 400k. If you just want the team, it's actually less than 300k, which is epic. But I always bring on Rafinha for St. Maximin. And I'll just quickly show you the custom tactics. I'm not going to be going into a genuine custom tactics review. I've showed you guys a million times. I don't want to do it again. This is what I do. Benzema and Uzvandele switch, and that's literally it. I've put Valverde at CDM and Frankie Diong to the right, and yeah, that's that's what happens when you go into the game. You go to ultra defensive, and you go into this formation, and boom, you put the players like this. You put Rafinha on for St. Maximin because St. Maximin can't shoot to save his life. I think he's probably scored like one goal in 400 games for me. Yeah, five goals in 18 games. Guys, St. Maximin, you don't want him on for too long. I mean, he's a good player in real life, don't get me wrong. But in FIFA, he's fast, but he just won't score you goals. He'll dribble around people and he can maybe get some assists, but he won't score you goals. So that's why you need to get Rafinha for this team. This is why it's the 400k team and not the 300k team. Always put Rafinha on for him. I could almost even start him, but no, I don't want him on too, too chem. But, you know, it's better than nothing. So this is the 400k team. You can fill up the rest of the bench with whoever you want. But yeah. That's the team. Uh, Frankie de Jong, best player in my opinion. Benzema, second best player in my opinion. Ousmane Dembele, third best in my opinion. And then the rest are just really, really just good players. Full Foden, probably the fourth best. And then the rest, you know, I don't, I don't want to have favorites. You know what? I don't have favorites. They're all just as good as each other. Not really. But um, yeah, so that's the team. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe, or I will hack into your FIFA account and discard your best player. Thank you. Bye.